do. Giving people more also comes with respect of your peers. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the Augmented Authors, because I love that project. The Green, what up? Yeah, man, um, we've been rhyming for years. So, you know, we've been doing this since the 90s, uh, us two. So, you know, we uh, separated for a while, you know, uh, musically, went his direction, I went mine, you know, life happens or whatever. But uh, we clicked back up, chemistry there, we two Aquarians. Um, we on the same page a lot, so yeah, we put a put an EP together or album. I guess you could say it's an album. Put eight tracks together. Um, it came out pretty dope, man. The chemistry was just it was just there. Yeah, you know? chemistry was authentic, and your voices match. Even so, that the um, <laughs> even even so that the Kareem and Shaq project. Now, see when that dropped, I saw it on Facebook. I was like. Kareem and Shaq. Yeah, man. You talk about two greats. You brought that up. Yeah, man. We people need to go listen to that. You know. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. The Kareem and Shaq project was something that not only caught me off guard. I was like, what the hell are they trying to do? Cause that's you. You setting a, a big bar right there. Yeah, Shaq right here. You know, you got uh, Kareem over there, the Green. Yeah, man. <laughs> One of my favorite tracks on that project was on uh, my texture. Thank you, brother. That's one of my favorite songs. Talk, talk to me about it. What does my texture mean to you and what were you trying to tell the world? That the weather won't test my texture. Um, you know, uh, I don't know how you want to look at it. You can look at it in many ways. Um, I just felt with that song, <sighs> my texture. Um, I can't be phased, you know what I'm saying? I think at that time I was going through a lot and you know, I had my doubts with myself and stuff like that. So it's kind of a motivational song to myself. Mm -hmm. You know, your weather won't test my, my text, you know, like uh, can't hurt me, you know what I'm saying? Basically, you know, I think it's just a, a, a anthem, if you will, you know, for, for getting through stuff. Your discography is pretty extensive. I've been working since 2013. But the thing about your discography is, if anybody wanted to clear a pattern of the type of MC that you are, they couldn't. Hmm. And the reason why I say that is because your beat selection is so different <laughs> that there's no one thing people can expect when they come from you. Mm -hmm. Is that how you planned it? Not at all. You know, like I told you uh, earlier, um, my direction changed at some point. Right. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I think what it was, linking up with Lit Green, you know what I'm saying? Like he reintroduced me into the underground world, you know, to be perfectly honest with you. Like my direction was just trying to get on Hot 97 and 105 and all that, you know, trying to be the next Big Daddy Kane or whoever. I thought I was gonna be, you know, and um, you get stuck in time thinking that labels are gonna come pick you up, and you know, like it just doesn't work like that. You know, the, the times change. Like people don't even respect labels like that anymore. But everybody's like independent. So, um, we got to the point though where people are understanding that nobody really needs you. And you have to feel the same way to be successful. Because right. I hate to say it this way, because um, I don't believe that this is the the way of the world. Right. But there was a time when you had to beg somebody to give you a chance. Because people, think about this, nobody gives a fuck about you. That's the bottom line. Hard, sorry to say it that way, but this is the truth. Well, people, people need to hear this on the camera. That's the gift of the internet. Right, it is. It's the curse also because then, I'm going to talk about that. Let me go back to the beginning. People don't give a damn about who you are. Because people out here making 100% of their own money without you. So you're begging them. In, in, in essence, this is the music industry. You're begging someone to give you a chance so you can make them money. And all you get is a name. Nowadays, it's like, I don't need you to make my name. I make right. my own name. Right, right, but right. this is the essence of hip-hop from the 80s with Too Short, Swap House, Rap A Lot, Da, 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 because they didn't let people tell them they were nice. They went and took the game over. Mm -hmm. 
Being that you are a seasoned MC with that at your disposal, how does that work in your favor and how has it hurt you the same way? It hasn't hurt me other than financially. Okay. But I mean, working in my favor, you know, like it's got my name bigger. You know what I'm saying? Like I had to pay for my features with, you know, these artists. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't through, um, you know, hanging out with these cats. Nah, I reached out. You know, and my budget worked at that time, <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. worked with them. And, you know, that that's how it happens, you know, realistically. You know, like the difference between mainstream and this underground stuff is I'm my manager. You know, most of the time I'm the videographer. You know, like I have so many, uh, you know, talents that, uh, you know, popped out out of nowhere. You know, I just want to rap, but... When you're independent, a whole bunch of other stuff comes along with it. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, man, that's it. My thing is this, though. Hip hop is a dick riding culture. It is. Sorry I, to say, I, but I, that's I what it is. I witness. And I want to ask you this How was Pappy Nassin respected before the feature and then after the feature? Fifty-fifty. Um, definitely got the dick riders. You know what I'm saying? I've dropped projects without these people when you definitely see a difference. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. But everybody goes through this. You know what I'm saying? The, the artists that I got features with, they went through that themselves. So, you know what I'm saying? It's a process, man. That's why I'm, I'm dumping... Uh, work like that, you know. Say I'm gonna knock these floodgates open. You know what I'm saying? Like you gonna know who I am. Last year, the album of the year, in my estimation, was Shea Noir's album with uh, Apollo Brown. You have a song it. with him. I have a song with him. Everybody loves Thirty Eight Special. Shout out to Special. You got a song with him. Yes. You have you have songs with people in the industry who are not only up and comings, but they're well respected. Uh -huh. And you got songs with vets, like Pace One. Pace One, yep, shout out to Pace. When you have that on your resume, uh -huh. do people come to Pappy Natson in a more humble way, or do they come at Pappy Natson, well, I just gotta get you on, it is what it is, et cetera? Uh, I'd say people are humble, you know, like, uh, I'm respected for my for my talent. You know what I'm saying? Like they put a, you know, they helped me a lot. Shout out to Spesh, You know what I'm saying? Like I've actually sat with him, and you know what I'm saying? Like got some game from him because even though I'm, you know, five or six years older than he is, he's got more of the industry. You know what I'm saying? Insight. So. You know, I was definitely with him learning. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Shane Noir, um, we haven't really spoken. You know, that was just like business. You know, she hit me up. Well, she posted something on Twitter, you know, saying she was in the studio, you know, hit her up because she's doing features or whatever. Some people don't take the, take the initiative. You know, like I reached out. She asked me what my budget was. Boom, we got a song. You know what I'm saying? That's it, man. Is there a difference in doing a feature with a person who's semi-industry and a person from Jersey? But before you answer that, let me tell you the context of why I asked you that. Okay. Jersey's real bitter. And I think a lot of the bitterness is starting to come off now. Mm -hmm. But Jersey's really bitter because we will always put in New York shadow and people use New Jersey to come up and then left. Mm -hmm. So, when we do a feature with somebody from Jersey, it always seems like from the artist, it's more pressure for them to deliver, to hold Jersey up. Yet again, it's a lot more pressure to deliver from an out of town or an out of state person because they have to respect who we are. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that? Or have you felt that? Uh, you know what? I really don't see that that much. Mm -hmm. So. You know, like, um, Jersey doesn't, you know, people don't really reach out to 
Jersey artists other than Fetty Wap. You know what I'm saying? Like, Reggie Noble, you know, like, I reached out to Red Man, but he wasn't doing features at the time, so, you know, I, I don't know how that works. <laughs> I really can't answer that question. I just don't see it. You know, I don't see it enough to shed light on it. So then, to sum up this part of the interview, Pappy Das is big on his delivery. What's the impact that you've made with your style of delivery? Um, it's more shows, more uh, radio podcasts, and you know stuff like that. Uh, I'm working with artists from France, Australia, Canada. California, so my name is getting out there, you know, my last project was done with a producer from France, shout out to uh, Arthur and uh, GZ, uh, we got the Path to Arthur project that we just uh, dropped on Halloween, you know, he's from France, I uh, just got a couple beats from the dude from Australia, shout out to Time Peace Tracks, working with him, you know what I'm saying? I'm just building my brand, man, and networking, man. Networking is always the key, man. Can't be afraid to reach out to people, bro. You know, like, it helps. You know, they help you. You'll find that people you live with, you know, live amongst, they're not real supportive. I'm sure you've heard that story before, so you have to venture off. You know what I'm saying? You can't just let that hurt you or whatever. None of my friends I grew up with buying support my music. But I got people in France buying my shit. You know what I'm saying? Ohio, everywhere, all, all over the state. So it balances out. I used to get mad, frustrated over that, but you know what I'm saying? Just getting money from elsewhere, that helps. <laughs> you know, helps with the hurt. <laughs> it helps with the hurt. Yeah. Yeah, man. Whatever happened to our picture, man? We took a picture at uh, Custodian and the Records uh, event, man. Where'd that go? I ain't never seen this. In my archive. It's in, bro. Archives, it's in my archive. I was waiting for that, man. Like, it's in my archive. Gotcha. Everything, everything is saved. Gotcha. Thank you for watching our presentation. We ask that you subscribe to our YouTube family and hit the notification bell for updates. Please like, comment, and share this video.